authors and bibliographies will refer to primary sources and distinguish primary sources from secondary sources. What are primary sources? Why is it important to distinguish primary from secondary sources? And while I am working on my research, how can I tell the difference? Primary sources are documents, images, and other types of information that were created by people who either participated in the event or watched it happen during the time being studied. They are important because of their unfiltered account of the past. They can be detailed and specific in their depictions and enable as intimate an encounter with the past as possible without actually being there. They allow the researcher to form their own conclusions or that input from others and can be put in tandem with other primary sources to form a complete picture of the past. Because they so closely represent events from a particular perspective, they encourage critical thinking. They also help people today to empathize and place the present in an appropriate context. Primary sources are often compared to secondary sources, and they differ from each other in some important ways. Secondary sources are those created by someone who was not there for the original events, but has studied the primary sources. They interpret the past and offer analysis. They offer a larger perspective than primary sources and are a more efficient way to learn about the past due to their analysis and their ability to pull from many primary sources. For research purposes, primary sources are the main source of information. Researchers' publications and presentations are secondary sources. Examples of each type can help clarify the different purposes of each type. The journal of someone who traveled on the Oregon Trail would be the primary source, and a book about what life was like on the Oregon Trail would be the secondary source. A photograph of Abraham Lincoln would be considered a primary source. Analysis of the image and what it reveals about Lincoln at that point in his life would be a secondary source. Finding and using primary sources can be challenging. They are generally more obscure and less frequently viewed than secondary sources. Their advantages of detail and intimacy can make it challenging to filter out the portions that are most pertinent to your research. Searching for them can vary depending on what type of source you need, but there are some basic guidelines that apply to finding most primary sources. In beginning a search for primary sources, Government, library, museum, or university websites are excellent places to start. Sources from those entities are often more reputable sources than those on a commercial or personal website. Another great place to find primary sources is in the bibliography section of a secondary source, especially if the author is well known for quality research and writing. For example, if you're searching for primary sources on Alexander Hamilton, you can consult the National Archives. Since he was a prominent American founder, his more significant writings will be there. Columbia University, his personal papers are all stored there. And you can consult on Chernow's biography of Hamilton. Chernow is a reputable author and researcher, and the bibliography section in his biography of Hamilton contains a vast number of documented primary sources. When you're evaluating the legitimacy of a primary source, particularly one from a less prominent location or from a secondary source, there are several important criteria to consider. Who was the creator and what was their relationship to the event or issue? Why did the creator produce this source? Was the source for personal use for a large audience? Was the source intended to be public like a newspaper or private like correspondence? How neutral was the creator? What biases or interests might have influenced how the source was created? Can the source be substantiated by other primary sources? Can you confirm what the creator is saying? For more detailed information on finding, evaluating, and using primary sources, check out the ALA's website. If you have any questions or want more assistance, stop by the library or reach out to us by email or through our website.